morning everyone. We are on our way to Isla Mirada today. We are on our third day, a third full day here in the Florida Keys and we wanted to take you on an adventure today. We we're going to be stopping at a lot of places. We're going to be going to the Sea Theater and we're going to stop off at Robbie's, maybe feed some tarpon and have some lunch. And we're also gonna stop off at Bud and Mary's Marina today and visit with the folks over there. So I hope you enjoy this video. We'll see you soon. We are here. Theater of the Sea. Destination is on the right. Thank you. You find a parking spot. Some shady parking. <laughs> Sweet. This is what you see from the road. It's absolutely beautiful. A couple of birds up there at the top look. swimming in the water and pulling off. <laughs> Very beautiful. Be nice to enjoy a full day here. But since we have a lot on our list to do today, We've got to cut it short here, but we definitely wanted to show you this beautiful attraction that you should definitely check out when you come to Isla Morada in the Florida Keys. All right, walking in. Gift shop. My name is never on these things. Nope. Never is. Let's see if Kyle's is in here. Excuse me, sir. There it is. Kyle F. <laughs> so this place has a schedule where they have all their shows and the boat tours and things like that. And um, it's good to get here at the, the right time because they start the shows and the tours pretty early in the morning. Like the first bottomless boat tour is at, I think it was 1130 and they have shows prior to that. 
So um, we're actually here in between everything. So we're just getting a good look around, looking at all the exhibits, all the animals, and seeing what we can see. Um, we have a lot planned today, so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to make it to all the shows. But this is a look around anyway. Do not touch the iguanas. They are wild. <laughs> Okay, all the way down to the beaches, go down to the far end, it'll start right there at 11.45. Thank you. Where are we headed? Oh. <laughs> Restroom. A beautiful orchid garden. We have a lot of orchids at home, but they definitely don't look as nice as these. I know, they're beautiful. They had to have been here for a really long time. Gorgeous. Parrot Theater. We got going on over here. Oh, no. <laughs> she okay? Oh, yeah, this is just part of their monthly bed exam. He's actually missing his left eye from a boat strike injury, so we just checked that he's fine. Aw, poor baby. Manta ray feeding. Manta ray feeding? All right. What do these turtles have on their backs? It's like they have a little backpack. You got a backpack. You got a life preserver on. It's so pretty. Huh? Huh? Big turtles. Huge. I hear some squawking. You see them good? They come clear? Absolutely beautiful gardens. It's like a nice place to come spend the day. It is called the Sea Theater. We've got sea lion shows and dolphin shows, parrot shows. Omega snappers, redfish. It's that one with a stripe on it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of yellow. Uh, it looks like a big fox. 
little mangroves. We got them all full of stuff. Look at all mango snapping. Making me hungry. <laughs> Call them mangrove snappers because they like to swim along the mangroves around the edge of the water. They use it for protection and feeding. There's a snook. See that big guy? I don't know if the camera picks him up well. All right, let's head over this way. And she's got some macaws over here. Never seen solid blue ones like that. You're beautiful. You're so pretty. Pretty bird. This one's all fluffed up. <laughs> Hello. Bye. Turn around, let me see you. Let me see you. Hello. Say hello. Hello. I'm sure it flows in somehow. Salty crop. Now we have been seeing a lot more crocodiles in Florida. We are typically home to the American alligator, but it seems like lately there's been more and more saltwater crocs that have been being seen in our waters. They are known to be a lot more aggressive than the alligator, and they can get a whole lot bigger than an alligator. This one's a, this one's a pretty good size. Holy Moses. These are some fast swimmers in here.
You guys see the sea lions in there? This cage they got. Yeah, this cage they got. It's a little difficult to see through. Well, they do sea lion shows and everything throughout the day. And I think there's encounters where you can actually swim with the sea lions and things like that. Oh, oh, where are they going? <laughs> they look interested in something. I hear you barking. How cute. <laughs> Another one over here taking a nap. It is hot here today. So I can see why they're just lounging around. Looks like they have a layer of fur on them. I can zoom in there without it being too blurry. There you go. Taking a nap. Definitely a beautiful and serene place to come spend some time during the day. It does only take about an hour, two hours to catch all the shows that they have, the bottomless boat ride, things like that. It may take about two and a half to three hours to come through here. We're just visiting, taking a quick trip just to show you guys around. Maybe while we're here, we'll catch a couple of the shows if we don't miss them. This canopy here is actually a what they call a bottomless boat. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's got this railing with seating lined up all around the outside of it. And in the center is water. So and it looks like it goes out to this estuary out here, which is natural. So I'm not sure how long the boat ride is or how long the tour, but there's definitely dolphin and everything out there. And this out here that looks like a crane that's where they have the dolphin shows. You get to sit on the stands over there and watch as the dolphin perform. Now it looks like the, the trainer stands up there on the crane to do things with the dolphins. So it looks like it would be a lot of fun if you just actually get here at the right time. We're kind of in between everything, like I said, so. It's kind of pricey, but it's also a good cause. It does, because they have veterinary care here for the animals. Uh, we saw some of the turtles. Uh, one was getting his daily vet exam, and he had lost his eye, the sea turtle. So he was getting his daily vet check. And one of them has a flotation issue, so he had the little life preserver or life jacket on so he could float. But they do good things here. They take good care of the animals. And they do some nice shows and everything. So, yeah, for what was it, 40, 47. $47 for adults to spend the day here? It is a little bit, but it does go to the care of the animals as well. So if you look at it that way, it is worth it. We're here now at Bud and Mary's Marina, home of the Stanzig family. Very well known as a YouTube channel, Stan's Fam. If you've ever seen it, if you haven't, you need to check it out. Go on YouTube, look up Stan's Fam. They have some amazing fishing videos. He does a fantastic job and we've been followers and fans of his for a long time. So this is where he's out of, Butter Mary's Fishing Marina. 
Bud and Mary have been around for a very long time. They've owned this place for, golly, it's been years and years and years. This place has been here forever. This is the shark. <laughs> we love the <this> shark. <laughs> Put your head in his mouth, Kyle. <laughs> Barely fits in there. Pretty old head. Looks like he's got some broken teeth. Chewing. <laughs> All right, we're going to have a walk around the marina. Scuba tour headed out. It's called Giant Stride. If you want to go out on a scuba tour, that's the boat to take. Now, any of these adventures that you want to go, I've got all the information for all the captains here at Bud and Mary's. If you want to take a private fishing charter, a scuba tour boat, this is the place to do it. And of course, there's lots of tarp in here hanging out at the dock. What's that? waiting for some food. There's a gorgeous parrotfish down there too. I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a couple of them around the dock there by the piling. There's boys over here. Yeah. This is the best place. If you want to take a fishing charter out of the Florida Keys, come see these guys down here. So many captains. You got inshore, offshore, anything you could possibly want. There's a thing here where you can feed the tarpon. You go inside to the store and you get a bucket of feed. And you can feed them. These are the big boys down here. They are waiting for some food. Look at this one ginormous absolute giants this is what we had over at the dock by our camper over at the little resort they were just going crazy on those grass shrimp the other day they didn't want to bite they were more interested in those glass grass shrimp I said glass grass grass shrimp Absolute beautiful fish. An amazing catch. They will fight. They will jump. There's some big boys down here, baby. They're good at making a splash. That's what they do. They like to jump. You know the tarpon are around when you hear a splash. Yeah, they're hungry. They're waiting for some food. <laughs> Come on, I was not leaving my There place. he is, the legend Captain Nick Sandick. <laughs> no legend. For no legend. Stan's no fishing. No <laughs> you gotta be. <laughs> Just came back in. What'd yeah. you get today? The muttons were biting. We got half a dozen muttons, some real nice ones up to about 14 pounds, and uh, about 150 degrees out it feels like, so it's nice and hot, but we're almost done. This is the last big one. we got one more in there, and uh, I'm worn out. The elbow's killing me. I'm trying to fillet him, but it was a good day. Hot day. <laughs> it is hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Film guy, film guy ran away today. We fired him.
No, you did. You can't fire him. You can't fire him. I got the fillets. Vic gets the throats. He's going to grill him up here. He's got the sauce. He's cheating, though. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm going to get me an good. electric fillet knife at this rate. Yeah. This is a multi purpose thing. That is a multi purpose thing. Oh. We had a nice visit with the folks over there at Bud and Mary's Marina today and getting the chance to meet up with Captain Nick Stanzik of YouTube's Stans Fishing. It was a very nice opportunity to meet up with him and get to speak with him a little bit. If you guys ever want to book a fishing charter from Bud and Mary's Marina, whether it's inshore or offshore, you can contact me at Funshine Travel Adventures 321 at gmail.com and I can get you set up with a charter of your dreams. Now on to lunch. Guess where we're heading next? This is Robbie's. There on the waterfront. I don't know if you can see it. We're headed in. You've got a little market, great restaurant, and another place where you can feed the tarpon. Headed in there now. They have a craft market here outside of Robbie's where they sell all kinds of handcrafted items. And they're all wind chimes. It's called the glass shack. I have to win. That was me. Oh, yeah. That's still Virginia right now. Beautiful. With a great. I have to take medication to calm down. I have OCD on top of it. I have to take medication to calm down. That dolphin's amazing. <laughs> I love them. Gorgeous. They're done? Look at these octopus. Yep, that's your first box of baby bird. And uh, there's your second box of baby bird. better. It's like a long holder. Like for a wine bottle? I like the hammer. Come on, come on. The hammerhead? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course, you got all your tourist items. Oh my God, yes. Florida Keys ashtrays. Are we hanging here? Uh, in here, no. On the good. You got the buoy. <laughs> That's located in Key West, Florida. It is the most southern point in the United States, and it is 90 miles away you from Cuba. Get some Christmas tree ornaments. Very cute little shop. Huh? Sunglasses. Hello. Got your stickers. I got some cool stickers over here, babe. The kids' sunglasses, bottle openers. And you get your shelves. If anybody's ever had conch, let me know what you think. I've never actually eaten conch before. They have it at sushi restaurants and everything, but I mean, straight out of the shell. If any of my viewers have ever eaten conch, let me know how it tastes. And I hear it's an aphrodisiac. I don't know if that's true, but 
Your cheeky heads. It's a little dark in here. Sorry about that. The walking sticks. This place is great. i find some more markets. This sign is priceless. <laughs> Gotta get that one. I wonder how much it is. 40. That's not too bad. I'm gonna have to show pile that one. I wanna hang that in our house. Do you have a tiki bar at your house? To the best things you can hang on your walls. Very cute. They pretty much all have the same type of thing. Got Captain Morgan hanging out. In What's up, buddy? Beautiful artist. Looks like she's painting one now. She hand paints all of these. Absolutely beautiful. Get your hats, flip flops. Here in Florida, sometimes we call them slaps. People call them thongs, slaps, flip flops. Flops. <laughs> That's all we wear. Oh, yeah. Got the tan line through it. Oh, yeah. Hot stuff. <laughs> if you live down here in Florida, you're pretty much, if you're not at work, you're in your flip flops. It's the kind of things I like. I collect beaded bracelets. Beautiful. These are stunning. Are they made of glass? Acrylic. Acrylic. I love the turtle. He's a photographer. His name is Tim Ron Photography. There's his phone number. You get a website information if you like the artwork, if you like the photographs. That looks like. Cannons outside. It's a motorcycle. That's nice. We are hot and we are hungry. So it's time to get some lunch over at Robbie's Cafe over by the water. Sorry if it's a little bit loud in here, but it's a good time, good place to come. You can see everything behind me. They've got dollar bills hanging on all the walls where people can sign. You can see those. Great place to be. We're gonna get some lunch. I sit here and enjoy the view while we're waiting for our lunch. It's right on the water. It's amazing. Uh, last time we were here, there was a bunch of sharks that were swimming around out there. I believe they were bull sharks. This area has a lot of bull sharks. Uh, we're going to be doing some bridge fishing.
tomorrow, so for the next video. And I'm hoping we don't get sharked. <laughs> it seems to happen a lot. So. And the Hungry Tarpon is always busy. It's a very popular location. So it's Robbie's, that's the name of the market. And it is right on the at backside of Isla Marana. What's that? Lots of people. You can catch iguanas here as well. Sometimes they walk along these tarps up above. I don't see any today. The last time we had a ginormous iguana walking above our head. <laughs> but it is beautiful here. If you ever get down to the Florida Keys, make sure you stop off at Robbie's and get you some lunch over at the Hungry Tarpon. It's got our lunch brought to us. We got the crispy grouper sandwich, fries and coleslaw. The sandwich looks amazing. That is a thick piece of grouper. You got the blackened mahi. Delicious. And that's not a pretzel, but I think. The coleslaw. Flies are here. Can't help it. Outside, it's a hot day, but thriving. Say goodbye to these fries. They are hand cut fries with a little bit of potato skin left on them. And delicious. So good. Kyle split his sandwich with me, so we each got a half. A little bit of each. That, that does it for me. Got to take the rest back to the RV with us. In this heat, you really can't eat a lot. It's <laughs> one thing about it. And amazing food, absolutely delicious. Look forward to reheating it and eating it again later. Ooh, ooh. All right. All right. We are out of here. See you next. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I go that way? No. <laughs> Smell the barbecue in the air. Hey. No. <laughs> oh. Ready for some air conditioning. No doubt. Guys, <laughs> Hi, Robbies. Thanks for a great day and an amazing lunch. Head to the truck. Tripped on a rock. Back in the truck in the AC. So hot out there. So what a great afternoon we had. We had a lot of fun going to the sea aquarium with the sea theater, that's what it was called. And to Bud and Mary's Marina where we got to meet up with Captain Nick Stanzik. And here we're always walking around the market and having a wonderful lunch. So I'm going to sit here in the AC for a little bit. I think we're going to drive to a couple of the overseas highway bridges. Scope out to see where we're going to do our fishing tomorrow. And head on back, relax. I'm going to take a nice cold shower and chill when we get back. All right. Thanks for hanging with us today.